Welcome back everybody to another episode of XCOM Enemy Unknown. Unknown. Renona. Shabadaboo boo 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 boo. That's when I Yeah. Shabadaboo ba boo boo boo. Yeah. Come on. Woo. Lol. All right, so we got a council report mission control status update thingy. Incoming transmission. Transmission decoded. We are extremely impressed I with know. the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Guys. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. Ah, uh, you and flatter. That is not a statement this council makes lightly. You flatter me. You really flatter me, and I pound my chest. Because you flatter me so much that I need to pound a chest. Grade A. That's like the best grades. I, you know, I've gotten consecutively. You know. Remember, <sighs> we will be watching. I can't keep my grades. That's what I say. When I go to school, I don't keep my grades. All right. Well, we have a plasma rifle. Ugh. Use any that they recover from the battlefield. Although we continue to gain a better understanding of the alien plasma weapons we've recovered with each passing day, adapting to technology is but one aspect of the process involved in designing these weapons. We must also ensure that the armaments we develop are suitable to firing positions our troops are to firing positions our troops are accustomed to. If the weapon doesn't conform to the human ergonomic standards, our troops certainly won't be able to fire it effectively. As a result, our efforts to reduce the weapon's weight, we've noted a substantial improvement in the overall accuracy of this rifle. In addition to manufacturing these new lightweight plasma rifles, we can also apply these appro this approach to modify any plasma rifles captured in the field. Uh, a jet ionized gas discharge through a focused magnetic field, a lightweight blah blah blah. The lightweight blah 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 is imperative to the blah blah blah. Now, cannon or pistol? I think cannon. I'm feeling the cannon. I appreciate your cannon. efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. See, I feel a little bit bad though. That, um. Wait, uh. Oh, I have four? George, who? How many do I have? I have. You know, let's get one more. Just, just one. Project cost 100. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't think so. It's a little presumptuous that you think I would pay so much for a laser rifle. Really, it's kind of a bore. Okay, um, well, we want to get the hyper relay of the super duperness. We, are, we can also build a fucking generator of awesomeness and psionic labs. What? What is what I'm saying? That saying is the whatness. Begin the construction of the superness. See a satellite nexus, 35 engineers. So crazy. But I think. I think. Now, should we build a hyperwave relay right here or just right here? I mean, th this corner is pretty much just fucked over right now, so why not? Why not just like build. Blah, just splooge on it. Just say whatever, man. You can't control me. So, how many do I have in production? One, two. Do I need one more? I do need one more. Well, whatever. Wait, satellite one, two. Did I build two at once? I built two at once. See that I'm I'm getting so confused and ah uh, all of the stuff that's happening to me. We got a plasma cannon. 
as we continue, as we've continually strived to even the odds for our pilots facing the alien craft in combat, one of our most important developments was the research engineering of their plasma-based weaponry. Having us successfully created a variant for our troops on the ground, the most difficult part of our work was already done. Increasing the size and firepower of these weapons for an application suitable to our interceptors was a relatively straightforward process. Once we confirmed that the ship itself could handle the stress associated with firing these weapons, it was simply a matter of scaling up the device and creating an appropriate mount. We believe the plasma cannon is now ready for general fabrication and engineering, and I'm confident our pilots will appreciate the additional firepower it provides. Probably. <clears throat> right. Now, plasma rifle or plasma pistol. Eh, go for it. Now, there wasn't anything I could upgrade right here, was there? No. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, can I build more than one? No. I want to build one, though. Now, when selecting a specific jet within the hangar, uh, you can choose to modify its current weapon loadout to best serve our needs. Yeah, whatever. Okay, ah, uh, so many, so much stuff is happening. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. I can get a heavy recruit. I mean, everyone is like. Do you want money, or do you want scientists? I want money. I really want the money so I can be prepared for everything. Ah, but like always, I'll do a quick save. But I want the money. Oh, no! See, I mean, saving. I can't stress enough how important saving is in our time. Really. Like, saving is like the super duper, super, super cannon of, um, this is very difficult. Mm. We don't care, though. We don't care. See, you have medkit, and then you have a frag grenade. That's just impressive. And see, then I can just, like... Like, you can just go F yourself, because, like, who are you? Like, really? Like, I don't even know. You can... You can have that. There you go. Now, go away! Go away, Price! We want you! Strings! Now, I think we can equip everyone with a skeleton suit. Like I envisioned. With the addition of a grappling hook, Ugh. our soldiers Ugh. should have an easier time gaining a higher vantage point on the field. Whee! <laughs> Why did he do that? I know, I know it was just to demonstrate, but still. That looked hilarious. Now, we still want you to have that... Skeleton suit and a l Can I like... Alright, what, what does that do? Base damage 5, critical chance 10%, critical damage 7. Base damage 5, critical chance 10%. Same thing, but... Alright, so this is just awesome. Okay! You know, I can deal with awesome. I need awesome in my life right now. And you have delivered! How awesome is that? Very awesome. That's just the way of our life. Um. Lysander. Lysander, my friend. Get this. And. 
Well, we can just give you a med kit. How awesome is that? Ah, oh, man. It just makes you happy when stuff like this is happening. Alien grenade. And then you can get the vest. His will is not that big for, like, a tanky guy. Look at Princess. Princess has been shaped into fires of hell. To be awesome. Alright, um, let me just... I know I cut off the, like, freaky deaky awesome music, but uh, that's fine. I did give you a skeleton armor, didn't I? Okay. Ah, uh, it's just part of his uniform to have, like, those strips. Gotcha! Do we really want you to have the arc thrower? Yeah, why not? I'm just feeling good. Feeling good. We have visual on the mission site. Setting to the drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Okay. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Panicking soldiers will lose their next turn and can act unpredictably. That's not good. That's no good. Now the my my I want money tactic might not be this so good. Strike team is reach the AO. We don't really know yet. Deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. We can't really say as of yet. Now, Princess, why don't you move over here? I don't think the roof is available for walking upon. Now, Virtuous Law... No, he has a rifle. Okay. Bada boo! Oh, and he can also grapple. Right. Oh, they can actually... Oh! Oh! Oh, my load. My load. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Um, alright. Hmm. Alright, why don't we position him right here? Seems a little risky, but that's fine. And then we position you right here. We're gonna go on the overwatch. We're gonna switch weapons and go on the overwatch. And overwatch. Overwatch. And overwatch. And another overwatch. <laughs> Is that chrysalids I hear? Ah. Can I throw one in here? Can I get some intel, please? Let's see. Scanning. Okay. 
we got some floaters far back. Ah. Like, really far back. Else, I don't think we have anything else to worry about here in this, uh... We can, of course, move right here. Stay on the overwatch. We can move uh, him up to the door. Enemy spotted. That's fine. They're like, we ain't having none of this. We're getting the fuck out of here. Now, Monsieur Caton. We will have you move up here. Monsieur, Monsieur, le dude. And have you move right here. I think I'm just gonna position him right here. Oh, okay. Enemy troops. They're on the move. That's not good. X-rays coming Missed. in from the sides. Come on. We want some decent hits. We want some. They're trying to flank us. X-rays coming in from the sides. Take yeah. Boom. Yeah. They're on the Take prowling. Oh, suppressed. I'm impressed. Did you manage to suppress me? Ha, ha, ha. Now, we need to move the heck out. First of all, we need to, uh... Need to take care of this guy. I mean, you can't you can't do that every day. You can't take care of business every day. You know how it is. I'm just a little bit trepidatious about the situation. I know that doesn't really mean a lot. Why don't we just do this? Throwing grenades. <laughs> I really don't want to get all in their business, but it seemed necessary at the time. So there are some things you can do, like move and cover. We can't get a read on that thing. Its movements oh. are so inconsistent. Oh. Oh. Crap. Oh crap. Hey. Hostile spotted. Oh. Hey. Hey. Guys, what happened? Okay, I think I need to move back. Okay, can I move back? Oh, it'd be awesome if I could get up here. Oh yeah, oh yeah! We're gonna have you on high cover. Up, up and away. Um... He might just be done for. He might just be done for. I don't really... I don't... I don't know what to do with him. To be honest. And I can't, you know, I can't. He might also be better up here. He most certainly would be.
because he gets the higher ground bonus. Up, up and away. Uh, so make the best out of a bad situation, I guess. Overwatch. All right, and how much trouble am I gonna be in? The death, the deadly kind. Deadly kind of trouble. Nah, I'm gonna have to reload. If that. Yeah. Unless I can stabilize him. Now that would be a sight. I don't have... I don't have target? Really? Oh man. I'm gonna have to move up here. Well darn it. Do-do-do? Or do-do-do? I am a dude. I am a dude. What? That was like hit. That was perfect hits. Now, how many turns do you have left? Do you have three turns left? Probably be a good idea to uh, smash a rocket over here. Oh, let it rain. I am totally not against violence. Totally not against it. Uh, alien activity, alien activity. Ah, something happened. Whoa, how would you even? Well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a cyber desk. I'm taking fire. Okay. Now you can go and screw thyself. Taken care of. And you go boom boom. Double tap, executioner. Executioner style. Now he doesn't have a med kit. Too bad. Uh, if you kill him, you'll get a prize. No. No, oh, shot wide. I can't believe one of my medics is totally like down. Totally down, man. He's totally down. I can, uh, a run and gun up here. Okay. Uh, well, we need to jump down. Yeah. 
You're good. Just stay with me. And then... Nah, okay. I'm not gonna be that cheap about it, but... Okay, we can move over here, actually. And you can go, uh... You can go be wrecked. That's a muton. They're trying to pull back. They're on the move. Come on, Blake. They're moving. Hey, it's just bouncing around. It's having fun. Go suck it. Go suck it! Nailed it. Chalk up another one. Ugh. Yes. See? It all came up me. It came up roses and came down money. I don't know. But it was good. A gravely wounded six days. Deep pockets! Pockets. Sub discs. Right. Across we will Europe. Be in touch, Commander. Alright, let, let me just take a look at this. Hmm. See what 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 what's up with these two countries? Just like being s South America. It's it's so ugh, man. It's so ugh. Mm, now, what did the... Oh, never mind. Foundry. Um, see, that was pretty good. Uh, mm, see, I don't know about that. See, heavy weapons platform. What does that mean? See, that's pretty good. I like it. I like it. I'll send word to the Foundry crews um. now. You can follow their progress remotely from the project queue in engineering. I also like that one. I think we need one more. All my money. It has gone. It has been gone. Operational. Well, I, I can't use it yet. Oh, right. I need two. Plasma cannons. El plasmo canado. Why, why not just butcher languages and just, you know... Why not? See, there we go. I like it. I like it. Mm. The scope upgrade has been completed. All right, plasma pistol. Shut up, timer. Um, 
Our research into aliens' plasma-based weaponry is among the most advanced and dangerous work we've undertaken so far. The most difficult question surrounding the use of plasma, how to maintain an adequate power supply in the field, was solved by the Illyrium-based power cells recovered from the aliens. The heat sinks developed using their materials have also proven to be the answer to proper heat dissipation uh, along the weapon's barrel. With this knowledge in hand, we should now be able to use any plasma pistols we've captured from the invaders as well as begin manufacturing variants of our own design. Well, hey. Uh, we should do the cyber We've yet to recover one of these in functional condition from the field. The men seem to enjoy using them for target practice. At the present time, we know that the cyber disc, as they've been calling it, is heavily armed. But it shows no clear pattern of behavior on the battlefield. That's a dick move. Show a pattern. Show a pattern, you dick. Jeez. Oh! Oh, it's very difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult. Uh oh. Well. Sipkin. Alright guys, well, uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment and tune into the next.